Okay, so, to quickly recap, I failed facing the Eggman. After, once again, having to replay this game, uh, I also managed to do something else upon doing so. Just give it a moment. I'm saying this with cautious off, um, confidence, because don't underestimate and don't get cocky. Just like I was the last time I played this. So he's got these big ass fingers and you have to crush them, right? Mm -hmm. So it takes a little bit, doesn't it? Oop, look at that! I'm an unstoppable force of nature now. By the way, Jedi Penawan Daniel, thank you for hosting. <laughs> so I have become hypersonic. There's supersonic and there's hypersonic. And he is ridiculous to control, but goddamn is he powerful. Oh, yeah. They become, he becomes very insane when he starts. Yeah, um, hopefully, uh, because even though he's really powerful and everything, uh, you have to be careful with the amount of times you can, uh, you can launch yourself in the pit if you're not careful. So, yeah. yeah. But I can actually hit, um, hit Robotic a couple of times. And, uh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> you know, I should actually offer a bit of a warning. There's a little bit of a seizure here, and I do apologize for that. <laughs> Eggman's trying to run off. Oh, I got a double booster there. Whoa! Whoa! Sonic, don't fall! It would be really bad news if he just, like, plummeted to the pit, because then I'm back to the usual stage of facing him without, you know, any rings. Just take yeah. it easy. <sighs> yes! Okay, cool. So, when you actually collect all the emeralds, you get one extra stage. And needless to say, it's a lot more challenging than you think. It's pretty intense. What the hell is going on with the lagging? I have no idea. I don't know why it's lagging like that. Okay, it looks like it's playing... F well, it was. What the hell's going on? Oh, well, here we go. Jesse, you're cutting out a lot. Ah! Uh, okay, I heard. Hard. Okay, I heard that grunt and hear you scream in Discord. Ah! So, I'm in a bit of a race against time, and I have to collect as many rings as possible. Right now, I'm doing good collect so far. Get the rings, all the rings. As many as you can. Ring, 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 ring. That sound becomes so iconic, it's ridiculous. Ugh. Right? Alright, so. I can actually boost myself a little bit here. Damn pea shooters. So... Upon facing this guy, you actually have to get these uh, these missiles, and you had to launch it to the head of the ship, which was a little cryptic for me to figure out at first, because I originally thought, you're just supposed to hit him like usual, but nope, you have to, it's one of those kind of things. The thing that gets super annoying are those little pea shooters. <laughs> Come on, all the way up. Launch your damn missiles. There we go. I don't even know how many... I've lost count on how many times I had him hit. Damn it. All the way forward. Come on. Come on. All right. Awesome. So you think that's the end of Eggman and his his schemes, right? No. You got to do more of this shit. <laughs> on the plus side, this other part becomes a little more forgivable because you can still collect rings while confronting the final form. It's not even his final form yet. <laughs> Rings. I have to, dude. I had to. No, no, you had to. I don't blame you. Give me some it fucking rings! There. Shit! Rings! Come on! Come on! Give me the fucking rings! And come on, bring on the Show bring on there. more six packs. Oh, I just <laughs> missed one. And yes, I call it six packs when there's like two rows of three rings. Or just six <laughs> rings showing. Alright. 
Okay, so this one you have to headbutt him towards the head. Oh, God. I know, that was very repetitive of me to say. <laughs> but you get what I mean. You boost yourself yeah, forward and you have to hit him in the head. Boom! So I like what Equestric Guy said. What, you think Eggman is Lord Frieza now, Jesse? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it wouldn't seem too all considering how how he is in the game. Holy crap, JK. Wow. Or J... what? 12K, sorry. Huh. It's talking about something related to Skylanders. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. No! Damn asteroids. They're a little pain in the ass. I need more rings. Ugh. So, I'm in, a, I'm in a race against time. If I don't have enough rings... Um, or actually, no. If you, yeah, if you run out of rings, you lose a life. So you have to do this all over again. Like I said in the second half, it's a little more forgiving because you can actually, like, replenish your rings by searching for some while you're facing the final form. Yep, yep, yep. Yes! Yes! More rings! Thank you! <laughs> I like what Doctor Sh I like what this Eggman is Doctor Giro. Eggman is what? Doctor Giro. Who the? F I have no idea who Doctor Giro okay, is. Giro, Giro. It's basically he was the 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 guy who created the androids in the Android Saga. Okay. Wait, wasn't he Android twenty? Twenty. Yes. Okay. Cause there, okay. He was Android 20. He was also once a resident uh, member of the Red Ribbon Army from Dragon Ball. Okay. Because I remember that there was also, um, there was 19, which was the big white dog, uh, the white dude. And then there was uh, 17 and 18. Which is the ones we know too well. Yeah. And then there was 16, who was, I was programmed to kill Goku. He, so basically, was, he wasn't as human comparison. He didn't have, like, the human perspectives, but he showed to be more human comparison to some of the other characters. Isn't that <laughs> ironic? Yeah, exactly! And, yeah, he's also, like, the one who created Cell. Dr. Jero was ah! the one who created Cell. Yeah. The one who created one of the most terrifying scenes from the whole series. <laughs> and there goes Eggman. Fuck you. I'll take that, Master Emerald. Thank you. Time to get scrambled, Eggman! <laughs> oh, he's already scrambled. I've already ate him for breakfast, and now I'm carrying the Master Emerald home. Yay! Emerald back home! Back to Angel Island, where you belong. <laughs> I like that the chat's all like, You did it! Yeah. Woohoo! A part of me just, like, imagines, like, Yeah, you did it! Good job, you dumb bastard! Let's see. I think you would prefer him fried. Um, dashing cam? Scrambled eggs is still fried. Yeah, it is. But I also, you know what also sounds nice? Egg fried, uh, rice. Ooh! God, I, I just, it just feels Asian today. Because that's an Asian thing, <laughs> egg fried rice. It is considered a normal food to add, like, I like some form of scrambled eggs inside fried rice. It's pretty common. Uh-huh. I don't remember why they use it. I just know that they... Hyper Golden wins in the chat. Okay. <laughs> because you were hypersonic for a moment. Golden Fox. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, <laughs> one fact. In one book, Eggman does actually eat raw eggs. Ew! Ew! Hi, Riley. Murder! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Riley. You arrived just in time for me to finish Sonic 3. Oh, nice. But after that, I'm going straight to Yoshi's Island. Yoshi! Yoshi! Woohoo! So, yeah. Um, so, I just want to point out something about Sonic 3. I still love this game. Um, it's very, very challenging, um, though. You have to be very patient with some things, especially when you're trying to collect the 
both the Chaos Emeralds and the, what is it called, the Super Emeralds, the bonus stages are fucking nerve-wracking because you're like, you're in this 3D perspective, which is a little disorienting to look at, but you can kind of piece it together. But then it starts to speed up and you're like, oh god, oh god, oh god. And when it comes to trying to collect the, the freaking Hyper Emeralds, not Hyper Emeralds, Super Emeralds, is there's especially one section where you have to go down these narrow paths. And I'm just sitting there thinking, oh, yeah. yeah, and I'm just like, fuck, dude, that's ridiculous. That's just only one of the Super Emeralds. The rest of which is not too hard. You just gotta, like, strategize your way of um, getting some of them. Like, if you go around into, like, a perfect square, all the uh, blue uh, orbs that you uh, group around, they become rings. So, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so yeah. Um, there's actually something special for each of the characters whenever you play this game. Sonic just happens to be the biggest one. Which includes the Doomsday Zone and the, you know, the special power-ups and everything. Um, Not bad. Yeah, um, with Tails, this is actually one entry where he can be Super Tails, which is actually pretty cool. He's got a bunch of, like, little uh, birds flying around him, and they actually become an unstoppable force of nature. Some people <laughs> like to call it the flicky army of death. Exactly! And last but not least... And last but not least is when you play as Knuckles, you go through alternative routes, and it actually becomes a different, like, presentation. So, this game has a lot to offer. It's, yeah. like, it, it's such an epic entry, and they fix a lot of the issues that the first two had. Um, still far from perfect. There's the freaking Carnival Night Zone. That, mmm. <laughs> still oh, unforgivable. Yay, there's the ending screen. about... Um, if I remember correctly about uh, when it comes to playing as Knuckles, he can also transform into his hyper form and he basically goes pink. Wow. Yeah, I remember that. He does. That that It's a normal... It's something that he does. It, I don't know why they made him pink. I can get the yellow scheme for Sonic. It's probably because it's a brighter than uh, red sort of idea. Most likely, I guess. yeah. It doesn't explain why Sonic goes flipping gold and yellow than when he should be going to a lighter blue color, but all right, whatever. I'm not the designer. Uh, fun the fun fact about that. <laughs> they were actually influenced by Super Saiyans from DBZ. No that surprise. does not surprise me. Yeah, no. A lot of people have been making assumptions that Sonic was ripping off Dragon Ball Z, and I'm like, you know... They're not the only ones who had the idea of a uh, special, like, ability of some kind. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure that they, I read somewhere a while back that they actually did take the idea from the Super Saiyan from DBZ. The only difference is with this is that instead, unlike Dragon Ball Z, they, Sonic can only transform into this with the Chaos Emerald. Yeah. Hey, Bussy. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> Oh, you didn't play the... Oh. That would have... Bliss, you didn't play the part where he actually shot the T-1000 and, like, fell the smithereens. Yeah, because I didn't want to risk your channel. I want to die nice. Oh, okay, fair enough. Okay, so, uh, I'll just go ahead and end there. Thank you all for watching Sonic 3. Um, now on to another game.